So in the last couple of lectures, we learned how we can define a schema for documents in a collection. We learned that when we add a schema validation on a collection, the MongoDB will validate the incoming data which we want to insert in the collection. If the data satisfies this schema and if the schema validation is passed, then only the data will be inserted into the collection. Otherwise, if the data is not valid, the data will be rejected and it will not be saved in the database and MongoDB will throw a validation error. And this is the default behavior. The default behavior is if the incoming data is not valid, it will not be saved in the database and MongoDB will throw an error. But we can also configure the schema validation according to our need. So while doing schema validation, we can also set validation level and validation action. Now what is validation level and validation action? Validation level sets which document will be validated and when. So there can be two values for the validation level, strict and moderate. When we set the validation level to strict, in that case, all the inserts and updates will be validated. So every time you are going to insert a document in a collection or you're going to update a document in the collection. Before inserting or updating, MongoDB will perform the schema validation on the data and if the data is valid, then only it will be inserted or updated. And this is the default behavior. And this behavior we have already seen. Now you can also set validation level to moderate. And when you set validation level to moderate, all inserts are validated, but updates will be validated only for those documents which were valid before. So in case of moderate mode, if you already have some documents in the collection which are invalid and which were created before you added the schema validation on the collection, then those documents can still be updated with invalid data. So in moderate mode, if you try to update an invalid document, the validation will not be performed on that document. But the documents which were added after setting up the schema validation, those documents will still be validated in the moderate mode. Okay. So in moderate mode, whenever you try to insert a document in a collection, the schema validation will be performed. But for updates, the schema validation will be performed only on those documents which were inserted after the schema was set for the collection. The documents which were present before the schema was set, if we try to update those documents, on that the validation will not happen. Then we also have validation action. Validation action can be used to set what should happen if the validation fails. So for example, on your collection, if you have defined a schema and if you want to insert a document in that collection and that document does not follow the schema, in that case, schema validation will fail. That means your data is not valid. So what should happen if the data which you're trying to insert in a collection is not valid? That you can specify using validation action. And for the validation action, you can have two values, error or warning. So if you set validation action to error, then invalid data will not be inserted or updated in the database and an error will be thrown to the user. But if you set the validation action to warning, the invalid data will be saved in the database. Even though the data is invalid, it will be saved in the database and a warning message will be logged in a log file. So let's learn how we can set validation level and validation action for a collection. Let's go to Mongo shell. Now we have learned that we can define a schema when we are creating a collection using this create collection method, or we can also update an existing collection. And on that, we can define a schema by using this run command method. So when we are using this create collection method, when we are creating a new collection and on that we are adding the validation for that we are using this validator method right let me format it a little bit and this should also go here so this is our validator object okay so when we are creating a collection using this create collection method at that time only we are defining a schema using this validator and after we have defined this schema using the validator we can add another properties so basically this second argument which we are passing to this create collection method it is an optional options object it is an optional argument which we call at options object and in this object we can set some configuration for the collections which we are creating 
one of those configuration is validator and when we are using this validator to define a schema with this validator we can also set validation level okay the value of this validation level can be strict or it can be moderate so when the value of this validation level is strict that means all the inserts and updates will be validated but when the validation level is moderate that means all the inserts will be validated but for the updates only those documents will be validated which was created after the schema was defined the documents which were already present before the schema was defined for the collection on those documents when we try to update the schema validation will not happen and we can also set validation action and for the validation action value can be error or one so when the value is error for this validation action that means if the data which we are sending if it is invalid then insert or update will not happen and mongodb will throw an error but in case of one even if the data is invalid it will be inserted and a warning message will be logged in the log file so this is how we can set validation level and validation action while creating the collection using this create collection method but if we want to add this validation level and validation action on a collection which is already created and we want to modify that collection and add validation level and validation action what we can do is here after we have this validator object after that for this run command also we can specify the validation level and validation action something like this so here we can specify validation level let's say strict and we can specify validation action let's say error okay but here if you notice on this users collection we have already added a schema so since we have already added a schema using this validator we might not need it now because we don't want to add the same validation again if we have changed something in this validation for example if we have added a new property or some new fields like this additional properties then we can go ahead and we can keep this validator because we might want to update the schema but here we don't want to update the schema we only want to add the validation level and validation action so for that what i'm going to do is without modifying the schema i'm going to use this db dot run command and again here we are going to pass an object i'll specify call mod that means collection modifier and to this we will assign the collection which we want to modify here i want to modify the users collection and what do we want to do there we want to set the validation level here i'm going to keep the validation level as strict and we also want to set the validation action so let me move it to separate lines to make it more readable so here i'm also going to set validation action and here let's set the validation action to one okay now let me copy this before that let me show you what will happen if we try to insert an invalid document in this users collection so let me clear the shell here and let's get this insert statement and here what i'm going to do is we know that in this schema we have specified the data type for this name field as string but if i try to insert a number value for this name and if i go ahead and if i run this command we should get a validation error and this document will not be inserted in the database so let me also go ahead and let me run the find command if i press enter you will see that there is no document where the name is one two three four so this document has not been inserted now what i'm going to do is i'm going to set the validation action to one and we learned that when the validation action is one even if the data is invalid it will be inserted and a warning message will be logged in the log file let me show you that so let's go ahead and let's modify the schema by using this db.run command if i press enter schema has been modified now let me go ahead and let me try to insert a document where we are passing some invalid data here if you see i'm setting the name as 1234 so in this case we are passing an invalid data if i press enter 
you see we don't have any error and the document has also been inserted this is because the validation action is worn here this simply means that it is not going to throw any error it is going to insert the invalid document also and it is simply going to log a warning message in the log file now if you want to see where the log file resides you can go to c drive program files there you will have mongodb folder in there you will have server folder you can see the version of the mongodb server which has been installed in your machine in my case it is 8.0 and inside that you will see this log folder and inside this log folder you will see that mongodb config file so here you can see that warning message okay now i don't want to keep this behavior so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this validation action to error and let me go ahead and let me modify the schema of this user's collection one more time so again i'm going to paste that command here and let's run that command let me clear the shell and now if i try to again insert a document where the name is storing an invalid data in this case a number now we should get an error as you can see now we are getting an error because now we have set the validation action to error when the validation action is error it is not going to insert or update any invalid data and mongodb is going to throw an error so as a developer it totally depends on you how do you want to configure your collection for schema validation if you don't want the invalid data to be inserted in the collection set the validation action to error in the same way if you want to apply restrictions on inserts and updates for all documents including already stored invalid documents you can set validation type to strict but if you only want to apply validation for inserting new documents in that case you can change it to moderate so it completely depends on your project requirements how you want to configure your collection for schema validation in most of the cases we are always going to use the validation level as strict and validation action as error because in most of the cases we would not want to insert any invalid data in our collection right so in most of the cases you don't have to set this validation level and validation action explicitly you can use their default value which is for validation level it is strict and for validation action it is error but there might be some special case where you want to insert invalid data in that case you can use validation action to warn all right so this is all i wanted to cover in this lecture i hope you understand the use of validation level and validation action when working with schema in mongodb if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day